Hello everyone, my name is Diana Hobson and I'm part of the Global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple and empower the next generation. We all know that children are different than adults, which is part of the way God created them. He is not surprised that children wiggle, move, get tired and hungry. God is well aware of their characteristics. Even Jesus, as a child, was subject to growing in the ways of a typical child. In Luke 2, 52, we read, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. We see in the verse that Jesus grew in four ways. In wisdom, which refers to mental growth, in stature, which refers to physical growth, in favor with God, which refers to spiritual growth, and favor with man, which refers to social-emotional growth. Our children grow in the same way Jesus grew. Even though we might think that most of what we do is spiritual in a church context, the reality is that we most often focus on mental growth, teaching the Bible stories and verses so children remember them, or social-emotional growth, making the children sit still and behave. We will find the most success in our work with children if we connect with all four parts of a child. To engage children's minds and help them grow mentally, we can do activities like memorizing, asking questions, and quizzes. To engage their bodies and help them grow physically, we can include activities such as games, drama, and action songs. To engage them socially, we can try group games, discussions, and giving problems to solve. We also want children to grow spiritually. But this is a deep inner part of a child. We cannot always tell what is happening inside, even though it is so important. Think about the kinds of activities you might do in a teaching setting that help a child's spirit connect to God, not just learn about him mentally, but experience him spiritually. You might include moments of quiet reflection or prayer personal reflective questions, space to draw or write about the lessons that they have learned, playing or singing worship songs, or being in nature. Maybe you have other ideas. I remember when my Sunday school teacher asked me how I see God. He gave me a paper and a, a, a pencil to draw God. And I drew him quite big. And he told me, yes, that is how big God is. That was good enough to help me visualize how I can size God in my own life. As we close this lesson, I want to reflect on Mark 12, 30. When people asked Jesus what was the greatest commandment, he replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Think of this verse in light of what we have talked about in this course. How does Jesus say we should love God? With all our heart, spiritually. With all our soul, social, emotionally. With all our mind, mentally. And with all our strength, physically. If we help our children grow in every way, they will learn to respond in love to God with every part of who they are. Since our goal in children's ministry is to make disciples of Jesus, let us help our children grow in every way just as Jesus grew. Thanks for joining me. For more resources, to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, go to our website, www.1450today.net.